This week on The Wire, rents rise as national shortage bites, home builder grant drives land sales, and regional house prices surge upwards. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Let's kick it off with our top story for this week, rents rise as national shortage bites. So rents are rising across the nation as undersupply bites, and that's according to research by the industry expert, Propertyology. Propertyology's head of research, Simon Presley, says that 39 of Australia's 52 largest towns and cities, three quarters of the total, have an undersupply of properties. Now, only four of 52 major Australian cities and towns have a residential vacancy rate of 3% or higher, and that's as of June 30. Five out of eight capital cities have shortages, though Melbourne and Sydney remain under, uh, sorry, oversupplied, along with Gold Coast, which is at 4%, and Geelong, 3.5% in terms of their vacancy rate. Now, Propertyology says a market with a balanced supply has a vacancy rate normally between 2 and 3%. Vacancy rates above 3% mean that there are more choices for tenants, which places downward pressures on rent prices. Presley says the only thing currently preventing an official declaration of an Australian rental crisis is the sedation effect of the coronavirus containment measures. He also suggests the shortage has been caused by the low number of mum and dad's investors buying properties in the past year or two. Now for our next story, Home Builder Grant drives land sales. So the federal government's new home buyer grant has seen interest in vacant land sales increase by 60% in June, and that's according to figures from realestate.com.au. The increase follows the announcement of the federal government's home builder scheme, which provides eligible owner occupiers, including first home buyers, with a grant of $25,000 to build a new home or substantially renovate an existing home. Real estate agents reveal there's been a strong response from first time buyers with inquiries for vacant land from this cohort increasing 180% compared to homeowners rising by 35% and investors just 26%. RE8 Group Director of Economic Research Cameron Kusher says it's obviously been uh, going to be very positive for the construction sector. Uh, increased property market activity largely occurred outside of New South Wales, which recorded a rise of 55%. It is suggested that uh, the $750,000 limit is an unrealistic requirement given Sydney's high property prices. Now guys, for our final story of the week, regional house prices surge upwards. So property prices in regional Australia are surging upwards while the median dwelling value from combined capital cities fell in the last three months, and that's according to the Domain House Report for the June quarter. Canberra and Hobart were the capital cities to record an increase in median house prices in the quarter, with Canberra up 2.8% and Hobart up 0.9%, while Adelaide recorded no change. Domain senior research analyst Nicola Powell says regional areas typically do not provide the big swings of cities and do, uh, do provide homeowners with steady capital growth. Regional markets are less reliant on overseas and interstate migration, which have been brought to a standstill by coronavirus, she says. Year on year, the biggest price changes in each state were in the local government areas of Isaac in central Queensland, where prices rose 32%, Leeton in New South Wales, which recorded a 23% increase, the Huon Valley in Tasmania, which notched up an extra 22%, and Colac Otway in Victoria, where an uplift of 19% recorded. Well guys, that's the top stories happening for this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, guys, and that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.